Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to start on our camera project. This application is going to allow us to connect to the cameras that are on our computers and view the live streams and then take screenshots of those live streams. So let's take a look at the tool that we're going to use. It's called OpenCV. You can download it at opencv.org. This library is an open source library that allows you to process images. So it can connect to cameras. And it does a lot more than just connect to a camera and be able to display the image. It allows for tracking of faces, uh, tracking of moving objects, and other things like that. So once you're able to create this project, you can hopefully create something more like a face detection app or um, something that can calculate speed of something that's moving. One project that a lot of people do create from this is a motion detection camera. So if it's something that goes in front of the camera, it'll take a screenshot of it. So this is the reason why I chose this. This will give you a basic understanding of how to connect to the camera and to manipulate the images. So let's take a look at the finished product. Let's go ahead and launch this. And here you can see a Mario plush that I have. Let me just move it around for you so you can see it is connected to the camera. And I do have multiple cameras set up, so I allowed a menu option to switch between them. And here's my actual webcam on my laptop. I have it covered up. And you can switch back and forth between the two. Then we can also take a screenshot. And if we go to our project folder, We can open up the screenshot that we just took. And let's take one more. And here's the second screenshot. Now let's go ahead and set up our environment. So if we go to downloads, we can download version 2.49. I downloaded my version for Windows. And then we're going to set up Eclipse to use this library. So we go to Window, then Preferences. Then under Java, we go to Build Path. And then there's a section for User Libraries. And so here you're going to add the OpenCV library. Let me just delete this. And then recreate it. So OpenCV. Then we're going to add external jars. And if you go to the directory where you extracted it, you should see a build folder. Then you're going to go to Java and then open the jar file that comes up. Now here in the native library location, you're going to edit that. And here, make sure to choose your version of Windows. I have a 64-bit PC, so I'm going to choose this one. And press OK. And then now we can create a new project. And we'll call this Camera. And after you create it, right-click it and go to properties. Then we're going to go to the Java build path. And in here you have the regular Java system library. We're going to add our library that we just created. So it's going to be a user library. And we'll add OpenCV. And 
Now I'm going to do it here to the camera template just to make sure that it is set up correctly. We're going to remove the one that I just deleted and add the user library again. And it takes care of the errors that we had. So it is set up correctly. Let's go ahead and close these. And now we're ready to create our first class. We're going to call this camera frame. And so here we're going to do just enough to make sure that we have it working correctly. So first we'll create the default constructor. And we need to load the library. And this is based off your version. My version is 2.4.9. So make sure you're calling the correct one. And then we're going to create a video capture. We're going to call this list. And it's equal to new video capture zero. We do an import and it's importing from the OpenCV library. And so this video capture, it's pretty self-explanatory, it allows us to capture the video from the camera. And then it takes an integer. This integer is the camera number on the PC. And so you can switch by switching this number. In our next project, we'll start creating the camera frame and then creating the camera panel.